my father was a golfer. He was a very hard worker. Some nights he'd, he'd like to play, and on weekends he played. But he got me involved when I was around nine. We lived right on the Delaware River in a community outside of Salem called Elsinburg. It was a nine-hole golf course, and that's where I started. When I was 12 or 13, I went up to DuPont Penn's group, which is now Sacama. So I played there. Sacama was a member of the Philadelphia Golf Association, or DuPont Penn's prep school, and they have a state championship golf prep school. Well, I'm not on a golf team. I got nowhere to play golf. So I had a car up there, which was illegal. It was up at Pennington Prep in Trenton, outside of Trenton, in Pennington. And I snuck on Hopewell, Hopewell Golf Course, and the eighth time they came out, <laughs> they came out and they kicked me off. Actually, one of the uh, one of my classmates played with me. He was going to play. See, because I was I was getting ready for the state prep school tour. I could play, even though I wasn't on a team. I could play. And uh, I told him, you know, thank you. You didn't kick me off before this, and I really appreciate the fact that you didn't throw me in jail or something. And I shot 73 in the state championship and finished second to a fellow from Petty. Uh, in those days, back in the old days, they had 36 hole qualifying for your first stage. Okay. And then you had your, that was the sectional, and then you had your regional. The regionals were generally held either up in North Jersey or in the Baltimore area. But this was the sectional, and I'm playing with uh, Bill Kittleman and one other fella. And the other fella didn't talk any more than Bill Kittleman did. And they were extremely quiet. But the, we played at Rolling Green in the morning, and I played poorly. And then we went back, and the last... 18, of course, was at Aronimic. I played very well. And I shot 68, made the sectional, and walk off the green, and Kittleman said, you should shoot that every time. And the other guy said something of the same ilk. And I'm thinking, yeah, I enjoyed playing with you guys, too. <laughs> I guess it was a backhanded compliment they were giving me, but first time I remember not qualifying that really affected me. I was 19, playing at Rolling Green. I was playing well, and I bogeyed the second 18. I bogeyed 13, triple bogeyed 14, double bogeyed 16, and lost in a playoff. Three guys for two spots. It took me a long time to live that down, to choke that badly. It, was, it, it wasn't a choke for one hole. It was a three-hole choke. It was like a Freddy Krueger or something. Bill Hyman had one of the great golf swings that I had ever seen. I remember being down at Augusta at the Masters. Our golf team, the, uh, back in those days, they invited golf teams to go down to the Masters and marshal. Uh, and I did that two years in a row. One year, I saw Bill Hyman on the ninth tee hitting it down the fairway, a little dog leg left. Not little. It's the par four that goes down and back up, and the green's diabolical, like most of the greens there. And he hit this perfect drive, and I'm thinking, wow. So, you know, I, that swing that he hit on that hole was in my mind, and it will never leave. I was just so impressed. But I played with Bill. The time we qualified for the Mid -am, first Mid-Am championship, I told you the story earlier. We go out there, neither one was played well. Bill had a, a he, he complained 
frequently. <laughs> and it was sort of a long day, and we each shot 74, and uh, we were second group. First group was uh, Marucci and Brewer, and they shot 66, 68. Well, Bill and I shot 74, 74, and there were three spots. So I left because I knew that somebody would shoot better than 74. I was, well, paper the next day, he beat me in a playoff. So just for all you people out there, don't leave until you know. Duke's my, my friend. Duke's done very well in the game of golf. Uh, geez, I've known Duke since he was. I'll tell you one story about Duke. Sandy runs where Duke was from. His grandfather was the general manager of that club forever. <clears throat> Duke always wanted to win the Hofner. Better ball, 54 hole, better hole, better ball. <clears throat> and in his early years, he always got the best young player he could find to, to play with. Well, he hadn't won it. So finally, he asked me to play in it with him. Oh, I'd want it. <clears throat> I'd want it with a friend of mine, Ron Pedrick, a uh, couple times, and then Duke asked me, so I says, "Yeah, I'll play with you, Duke." Well, you know, Duke plays that course so well. I always played it well. So the first day we go out there and play, and we shoot seventy. Now we shot sixty-nine. Duke shot seventy. I didn't play real well. So we go back to Duke's house that night. I stayed with him, he and his mother and father. And the next morning, I'm down to having breakfast, and Mrs. Delcher is in the kitchen there. And she says, Bucky, Duke wants to win this tournament very badly. He's never won it. I certainly hope you play better today. Well. We shot 65, 66, and the next year we shot 65s and 6s or whatever, and we won it two years in a row, so at least she was happy. <laughs> Somehow or rather, I watched Doneski play Heinemann, and John beat him like 6 and 5. Now, I was, John impressed the hell out of me. He probably was the best golfer that didn't get a lot of notoriety out of Philadelphia ever, because he could play. But he didn't play in a lot of national stuff, I don't think. But he could, I, he, I can tell you one thing, he can play with Hyman any day of the week. Those two guys were really good. Well, we were, Combatants, I guess you could say. David's one of the nicest guys you want to find out there. And David was a little bit like me, me at times. Sometimes the putty wasn't all as good as it should. Played each other out in the USGA. I think it was at Knollwood in Chicago. And it was the second round, if I'm not mistaken. I thought, you know, how bad is this? Because here we are, two guys from Philly. We got to play each other. Second round, one of us has got to go. And I played very well, and Dave played very well. I beat him one up, I think, if I'm not mistaken. That's the year I went to the quarterfinals. <laughs>